Hey guys, so I'm back out on the car today. I'm gonna do my best to show you this. Um, I kind of hesitate to do it because I'm uh, fairly new at it, but it's just something that I was doing. You know that I uh, buy these type of, uh, and hopefully that'll focus in on that. It's got the little tip that self pilots. Well, these are like an end mill. An end mill being, you know, this flat, it doesn't have the uh, radius like a normal drill bit or the, the, not the radius, but the, um, the angle. Um, so, my thought was once these are used, they're done, you throw them away and you grab the next one or whatever. Well, I got to thinking, and uh, I hadn't seen anybody do this, but I thought I'll, I'll give it a shot. So I took it over to my grinder, tried, because I had learned how to resharpen drill bits with the grinder a long time ago, and uh, you know got pretty good at it but this is different because it doesn't have that angle so you could take that in the angle and, and work it on the grinder uh, but you can't do that on this and I actually tried it on that of course it took you know it, this is flat so that that grinder is going to make it go at an angle and it's going to take this edge here off you know because the, the radius on that grinder edge of the wheel is just too big so I thought I wonder how I can sharpen this because you can resharpen these, you can keep reusing them, and man, you can get tons and tons of usage out of them. You know, those ones that you, other ones you buy, you can't, you can't sharpen them, or at least that I'm aware of. Uh, but these, I thought I'd give it a shot. Well, I did one of them earlier, uh, actually, uh, probably a week ago, and it worked awesome. It resharpened it, and freaking thing lasted for a long time. Uh, now, now, matter of fact, I just need to resharpen it again, keep resharpening it until I can't just resharpen it anymore. But I'm going to show you how, how I do this real quick and hopefully this works out. Hang with me. So being that the grinder is way too big, I thought I need a, I need a wheel like this. And let me see if I've got, yeah. I need something really sharp. Well, this is a 16th uh, cutoff wheel. So I basically am going to use it the same I would a grinder. And, and, and normally on a grinder you go at an angle because it's got that angle. But this you're going to go flat. Same deal, same principle. Say my thumb. Well, let's just show here without spinning it. You're going to go into that area. And as it's spinning, you're going to pull up. Because what you want is the chamfer the leading edge to be sharp and then from there it has to dive okay hopefully that's showing like I said I can't see what you guys are seeing so it has to dive down so that leading edge is the first thing it's cutting and then that clears away for the chips to come off so you do that on both sides so I'm going to show you how I do this and I'm only going to do maybe one or two swipes and I'll flip it over one or two swipes because if you do too much you're going to get it all lopsided and jacked up so uh, yeah here we go Hopefully, like I said, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to spin it over. Alright. So now you can see the leading edge, see how it's polished up? It's sharp here, then it drops because I pulled it up as I was going. Flipped it over, pulled it up. So you want that to actually, that edge, when you're spinning, you want to come up like that, okay? And then that gives it a new sharp on both sides and resharpens that edge. So that should work like a freaking new one now, just from doing that right there. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, I haven't really tried to sharpen this little tiny tip because it's so small, hell, I can barely see it. So I'm not even sure. I mean, that's an angle, but like I said, man, my eyes aren't that great, and I wear glasses anyway. So if I was to try to resharpen that, I might get away with it. But man, I think you'd almost have to have a little magnifier, like those deals you can move over magnifying glass to hold in front of it. Then I could do that and probably get this new little edge here going. But ultimately, that's just a pilot. So. You know, that's not that's not taking the brunt near like what this is. But yeah, this is resharp and should be spitting off some pretty good chips. But you can see you can see hopefully you'll be able to see that how it's shiny on the edges where I actually ground up. 
And that's going to take practice, but I mean, what do you got to lose? You're going to throw this in the trash, so why not give it a shot? If you, you fix it, you got another freaking 20 spot welds, you know? If you don't, then throw it in the trash. No big deal. Anyway, I thought I'd give you that little tip. See you guys. Well, well that was no small job. Just so you know. Uh, I don't even know what I do with all the pieces there. It's over there. Man, that, that sucker, they meant for that thing to be in there forever. But we got her out, and uh, I still got to take this lower lip piece off here. Um, I was getting ready to drill these braces, and uh, Daryl stopped by. Uh, so I've been talking to him for a little bit. But uh, one thing he noticed uh, that I just didn't pay attention to because I figured out hell I'm better replacing the whole floorboard anyway. But we talked about this floorboard being buckled and everything from underneath. I'll show you guys this real quick. Um, Barb's gonna get a big kick out of this, or Kevin. Notice notice how these this this is a new floor pan. Notice how this transition is really smooth all through here on both sides. Really nice, really smooth. Everything is like it's supposed to be. You know, now I want to take you over and show you what we got. Look at that buckle. That, that up there, and then that's not even the bad side. Look at how that is. I ne and I never, like I said, I never, this thing is just completely bent out. This is broken, like open. So literally this, like we talked about, the whole ass end got pushed forward or bent down or like I said, the rails crump crumpled in and completely just killed this floor pan. And again, I don't see it here. On, on these I see nothing wrong with them however it's hard it's 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 hard to believe that with that much damage that there there wouldn't be something wrong with these inner rockers too but we're gonna take this floor pan out check it all out see see what we've got and uh, if I have to buy inner rockers I will but at this point I'm pretty hopeful that I won't have to but you can see where all the, like I always talk about the ocean dropping a pebble in and the wave goes up and it's kind of the same when car gets hit, that ripple runs through the car, but in metal it doesn't plane out. It just stays in the ripple, it stays in, the, in this effect. So it's stuck that way. And you've got to relieve that to get it to go back straight, which I'm gonna replace it so that won't be an issue, but pretty bad. Pretty bad. Way, way worse than I thought initially, you know, when I was doing the car and taking parts off of it and I was thinking, okay, it's it's been hitting the side, okay, no big deal. Wasn't realizing that it had been hitting the back and the side and it crushed all that up through there and so it doesn't change anything. I'm still going to do it. I mean, for me, it's like I was talking to Daryl, I, I could go, I could go out in the field somewhere and find another carcass and use that but who knows if it's not been and of course it's going to be rusted all the pieces but who knows if that hadn't been hit or rolled or crashed or whatever I mean, at least at least this one i kind of know what i got you know there's there's no more hiding it's pretty much out there now so but yep it is what it is So, there's that brace that's supposed to be on the other side that's not. Again, that makes me wonder, since that brace is out of there, you know, uh, could they not put a brace back in it? it was it too bent? I mean, I, I, I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'm gonna, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to save this brace. I'm going to take this brace out and try to save it, and I'm going to make it use it as a template to make me another brace. I'm going to try to make this brace. It shouldn't be that hard, I, I wouldn't think. Um, and then 
I'm either going to reuse this one or build a couple of braces. And like I said, with this as a template. And then I'll fit them back up in there and see what I've got. So, anyway, that's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later.